a bonus ATV race. And we're about to deliver with the production C-Class from Sykeston, Missouri. 17 riders in a 10-lap final make for some interesting racing. There's no time to be patient here. Bumping and banging is a must if you want to cross the finish line first. Production C category here, starting to order on the pole. You can see Ryan lined up there. A lot of pressure back behind him, off to the side though, as they are lined up three deep. The one thing you want to do is hit that corner first, and that's a great starting spot as we battle here with Fisher and Loreno. The coda that is for that front first box. And you can see right, left, small jumps in this course as well. Some really tight turns. You gotta back it in. You don't want to over rotate. Pretty tricky little course, really. You can also see Ken a lot of body English being used here. As you look at our leaders and you look a little bit further back in the pack. And that body English, when you hang yourself off to the left, when you're going left or hanging to the right, when you're making a right hand turn. But help you keep all four wheels and tires on the ground. And I agree with you. I mean, we're talking about a vehicle that weighs a couple hundred pounds, and if you can sling a 150-pound body from side to side on these, from turn to turn, you can really help the handling characteristics out on these machines. Man-made track, and it's a track that's not specifically made for this event. It's a full-time racetrack here in Sykeston. And I got to tell you, again, the key here is getting a good starting spot. That's either done by qualifying and sometimes even by a blind draw. Very talented riders here coming back out onto the main courts through turns, what would be turns one and two. Flat track action right there. And it looks easy, but if you hook a rut, man, it can get ugly in a second. Still watch Loreno and Fisher battle for first. Jones is currently third. Montgomery fourth from the top of the screen. Blindstone at the number five spot. A lot of good riders here. They're from everywhere from Arizona to Kentucky, beating up here in Sykes to Missouri. Yeah, Lorena really hanging on there and really driving a good line. If you, if you get in the proper line, you're fast, you stay in the line, it's very difficult to pass. One thing you got to do for sure, though, is you always got to be watching for that opponent. And that is what will judge your line or help you judge your line as you make your way through the course. And you've seen this before, too, Brian. When you follow somebody that closely, a lot of times they can actually have a problem in front of you, and you get hammed up behind them. Yeah, you get all hammed up right there if a guy has a little problem, touches that brake even, and slice them out, or even just listen as well at the wrong time. You can be in the wrong place at the wrong time, as you mentioned. And you want to follow that guy to stay in that preferred line, but if you can stick a nose underneath him like that, that's what you've got to try to do. Oh, and he might lose two spots. Oh, he gets a bump right there. Your guy's been leaving. Loreno now runs second. we got a new leader. Solid job. Oh, man, again it happened. Boy, a tough break right there for Loreno, who was out front. Now is going back to third as he makes two small mistakes and finds himself barely on the podium at this point. Man, that's a tough way to go. And you mentioned it earlier, and we talked about it, the fact you got to watch what that rider's doing behind. you got to ride your own line, but you also got to watch that competitor. If you watch the lead rider right here, you'll be turning that head around from time to time as we make our way to the final lap and look for the checkered flag. Out front, Jason Fisher, followed by Mark Blightstone. And Blystone right there, I mean, he's closed the gap, but I don't know if he's going to have enough time. Really, Fisher's going to have to make a mistake to lose this one. And that Marino's machine, that's a tough way to go for a guy who led the biggest share of the race. But he didn't win that one and final lap. That's the most important one, and that one is going to go to the 79 of Jason Fisher out of Blackwood, Pennsylvania. Congratulations to him. Mark Leister will finish second, Lorena third, Montgomery fourth, and Keister your number five finish. Thanks for watching this episode of Lucas Oil on the Edge. For Ken Stout and Brian Olson, I'm Sarah Daly. Remember, you're not living unless you're on the edge.